Hello everyone and welcome to this transmission channeled from Archangel Michael for those earth signs um, of the zodiac of oh, that would be Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn for the month of April. And if you have not already subscribed, I hope that you consider doing so on my channel and like and share and thank you for all the new subscribers. Obviously these interpretations that are part of my channel um, for the astrology signs are general interpretations. So like all things, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. A lot depends upon your exact moment of birth and place, etc. All right, so let's begin with Taurus. And um, what I heard from the Archangel for those born under the sign of Taurus begins as such. Welcome, welcome, and behold a new you. This month for the majority of this sign will be about welcoming change, change in all areas as influenced by Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, and the Sun. If you are a soul who generally in life embraces change, or shall we say at least not fearful of it, then you will find a great deal of pleasure this month. In fact, for many of you, I hear you exclaiming, it's about time. So therefore, for those of you who find a more difficult path to change, you may find it helpful to practice making small changes in your life. Additionally, to do so, these steps can be small, but they will benefit you in large way. Large ways, excuse me. The zodiac houses or templates which are favorable this month involve pleasure also. Some is the direct outcome of you making changes in your life and some indirectly. Some of you, as all souls, have experienced different levels of pleasure in your earth lives up until now, and assuredly, most likely, have also experienced some type of losses. This month, I ask you to intentionally decide to create more re relaxation and pleasure in your lives, as you will be supported to do this by the cosmos. Generally, your love lives look positive, and some of this sign will find more pleasurable ways to be with one's partner. Also, animals may become a larger influence in your life's enjoyment this month, with many first-time pet and animal owners stepping forward. The Archangel said your theme for this month is pleasure. Your most positive days of the month of April, he suggests, will be the 8th, the 15th, and the 24th. Your most influential colors to consider making use of are turquoise and yellow. And Michael concluded by sharing affirmations that you might find helpful this month, which are, I expect to enjoy myself. I am choosing to experience pleasure in everything I do. And uh, affirmations particularly um, generally have most benefit when they're repeated regularly. All right, let's move on now to another earth sign. This would be the channel reading for Virgo, Virgos for the month of April. The Archangel said, hello Virgos and welcome to a challenging month. The entire month will not be challenging, however, and I hope that the word challenging inspires you and does not deflate your appreciation for this month. In fact, many of you thrive on challenges. These challenges are not huge energies of resistance. That is something completely different. Instead, many of this sign will be asked to be even more accepting of yourselves and of others in the outer world. If curious, these cosmic energies are emanating from several sources, those being Mars, Saturn, Sirius, and Pleiades. Self-realization is another interpretation of this month's prevailing energies. Some of you may find it useful to do some mirror work this month, whereby facing a mirror and stating self-affirming statements throughout your day, even once a day, will help. Michael went on to say, you may find that this becomes a daily practice all year long. Any and all positive statements which come to your mind will be useful. This would be an excellent time also to cleanse your auric fields, 
which is commonly done through taking regular salt baths as one such means. Some of you will determine that it is finally time to cut cords with anything or anyone from your past that does not serve you any longer. You may wish to use a mirror to do this self-reflection work also. Some of you will find that working with others on self-realization serves you better and take than alone and take action to do so, whether this is through electronic means or through personal in-person experiences. Some may find this month a good time to recharge yourselves through book reading and lectures on improving oneself. When souls see themselves as perfect beings made in the likeness of God's supreme mind, then you will achieve a sense of enlightenment and grace. Be extra kind to yourselves this month, Virgos, and remember how much you were loved. Your theme for this month is acceptance. The Archangel suggested that your most positive days of April will be the 3rd, the 10th, and the 15th, which can also be interpreted as numbers that are positive for you. Your most influential colors, Michael said this month, are slate gray and dark purple. Affirmations you might find useful this month are, I am likable, I am working on releasing any judgment that I may carry. And finally, I am accepting myself as I am. All right, the last earth sign here will be for Capricorns. And uh, the archangel began with this information. Steady energies show themselves this month. So many times we speak of fluctuating energies, but this month for many of this sign will benefit from steady as she goes, if it's not broken, don't fix it, type of thinking being statements you may have heard. Being steadfast, ready and prepared to finish jobs to completion. Be focused and clear thinking. This should flow to many of you easily this month. This extends to international travel opportunities and closer to home. If you have any plans to travel across continents, your steadfast attitude to any minor changes in plans will dramatically limit them. Being steadfast, dutifully unwavering, dedicated, resolute, firmly believing in someone, something, Outcomes turning out favorably will be your mantra this month. And if it is not your mantra in life, I would ask you to mindfully consider this as one. As a result, many new loyal friendships can grow and sprout in front of you, like seeds being planted in a new garden. As a result of being, thinking, acting dutifully, new opportunities in many areas of your life can sprout new gardens as well. Gems you fi may find helpful this month, the Archangel suggested, are aquamarine and jasper. As health, as health matters go, some of this sign would be wise to check their diets and work to begin a more, in a more steadfast manner in eating healthily. Those of you who are already doing so will continue these uplifting behaviors and find yourselves with more energy. Also, some of you will be reunited with friends and family with whom you've not seen or heard from in a long time. These influences will be strongest during the second half of the month. In addition to the major influence of steadfastness comes a sense of duty. As you may be encouraged to stand firmly in your beliefs this month from help from the cosmos, we view awakening as being open to all without judgment. Ask yourselves if it is not your duty to do so. Your theme for this month is duty. Michael suggested that your most positive days of the month will be the 10th, the 11th, and the 22nd. With your most influential colors being black, gold, and silver. 
And the affirmation for the month, or the two affirmations of the month he shared with me for you are, I choose love and I choose service. All right, thanks very much for listening. I'm trying a new format, and that is to put the different categories of signs together as opposed to uploading each sign independently. Um, the timestamp will be down below if you just want to listen to your particular sign. So um, let me know if you like this format better. And again, thanks to all the new subscribers. Many blessings to you. Bye-bye.